Okay, so we're starting a new essay this week. I'm just going to be calling it Essay 2 usually. And so this one, we're going to concentrate on ethos and evaluating writers' ethos, uh, which means their believability. It could be their character. It could be their credentials. There's a lot of different things we'll go into in a separate video. Uh, but the idea is that you're going to pick one of these news articles I'm going to give you. We're going to read three. Uh, I'm not going to tell you which, if any, are true or not true. And you should not research it on your own. You should just go off of what you have to evaluate right there in the article. And you're going to choose one. And in your essay, you are going to explain why you do or do not believe that that article is true. So we're going to be talking about different ways you can evaluate believability and credibility, like, uh, you know, do they have sources? How, you know, how's their use of detail? How organized is it? What's their tone like? There's going to be a lot of different tools you're going to have to evaluate it. You're going to pick probably somewhere between two and four of those things to evaluate it on and sort of use that as kind of an equation to decide, you know, because of their use of sources and their use of details and their organization, I do or do not believe that this article is true. And it doesn't matter to me if you're right or wrong. Uh, that has nothing to do with your grade. It's just about the way you explain your reasoning. So if you explain your reasoning well about why you believe one, and even if it's not true, if you explain your reasoning well, that's all I'm concerned with. It doesn't matter if you were right or wrong about whether it's true or not. But that's the gist of this assignment. Uh, this one is going to be kind of quick as well. I think it's essay three will kind of slow down a little bit. But we're just going to kind of jump into learning the skills of analysis and using responding to evidence. Those are some really important skills you're going to use later in your major for sure. You're definitely going to use them next semester in English 102. So we definitely want to start working on these skills soon so that you have plenty of time to practice them before you move on to the next class and your upper level classes. So that's what you should get out of this essay is mostly that using and responding to evidence. But you're also going to be picking up some information about how ethos works.